don't need to pick any more expenditure on that? No, that, that's been resolved. Mr. Chairman, page 15, item 8.2, response to climate change, $5,500. Is that the total specified amount for response to climate change out of a $44 million budget and the whole council plan? Yeah. $5,502 is the response to climate change, 843. Um, the, that, that reflects the cost of a bit of advice we get on energy use within the building. No, no, the question is, is that the sole line, it's called response to climate change. That's the only response to climate change specific in the budget, that $5,502. Uh, is there any other line in the budget anywhere that says response to climate change with another figure in it? There, there is no other line in the budget, but there are a lot of projects that No, that's to that. not my question. The question is that you've answered it. There is no other provision, specific yes. provision for response, apart from that $5,000. Yes. Thank you. On that point, um, that, that's money's used for advice. So how is that advice um, translated into... Um, a saving for council. Um, I'm pretty sure. Can you answer that, Paul? But I, I the we will be reporting in our long-term plan on corporate energy use associated with power and fuel usage, or yeah, in this in this building and for our fleet. When will that report then? Annual report. Annual report. Mm. It'll be in. It's proposed to be in the in the September one. We didn't get it into this one, unfortunately. Mr. Chairman, that question around response to climate change. It actually is a project under community engagement and communications. Is that correct? It isn't the overall response to climate change in the way of flood protection, um, mm. water harvesting, um, building resilience. Those all come in yep. as other line items throughout. Most things budget. we do, in other words, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's under governance and community representation yeah. group you. of activities I only. I think it's it'd be helpful if we understand just where it sits. Yeah. 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 Okay. In, in that case, um, given that the, that that item yeah. is used. Um, for information towards the building, how does that? How does that actually relate to community engagement and communication? It seems completely foreign to that. It relates to governance, I guess. So the management of of the um, the council's business, um, and you know the the costs associated with actually running and running this entity, uh, as opposed to the other things that we do out in the community. But that's really a management <coughs> issue rather than the governance. Well, it could be the the, the um, air conditioning in here. <laughs> Any other questions? If no that, that is a good question. Yeah, I've got some Very questions, close. but I've got a number of questions. And, um, well, I'm I'm open. Attachment one or attachment two, Councillor? I think we should get through it. Actually. Yeah, yeah. I Council think we're Remington. finished with attachment one, then we, we move on to attachment two. Attachment two is um, is the actual annual report. It's a draft annual report. It's the one you're being asked to adopt for forwarding to, to the audit for audit. Um, so if we just flick through there, we start on page 24. You've got purpose and vision and values in 25 and 26. You've got the chairman and chief executive commentary. If you've got any issues you want to pick up on that. And it uh, goes Mr Chairman, just on the chairman and chief executive. Um, I, I, just a question. I mean, I know these are written in a formulaic way, and, and what's here is all interesting, but it's, um, it lacks personality, it lacks passion, it lacks interest. I'm, I'm as bored to tears reading this. I mean, I think I've read, just changed, with the greatest respect, I think I've just changed the dates and updated it slightly. Um, I wonder if, um, I don't want to detail it, but I wonder if the chairman and the chief executive, the interim chief executive, might want to put more personality into it. I mean, we've had a drought. Uh, we've talked about that today. We've had a recession, which we're coming out of. We haven't set the scene. I mean, it, it's it just... I mean, I, I don't think anybody reads it, to be quite honest. Well, some of my best work counts. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it, I'm, I'm not telling you how to suck eggs, but I think it... it you know, this is, a, this is a time when you can. I mean, this is not the boring financial stuff. 
even though I know Mr. Drury lives and breathes it and loves it, this is where you've got to you've got to say something that's really you know full on with the community. You know, I'm taking copious notes, uh, Councillor. Yeah. Okay, Councillor Scott. Thank you. With regard to the right debate, Mr. Chairman, in the very opening, I'm very interested to find that you are introducing new methods of water and land use. I um, wonder what those methods of might be, but perhaps we could be a little bit more accurate in, um, in what we say, because I don't actually think we've got a new method of using water or a new method of using land. We've got new standards we're setting, we've got new approaches to it, but I question the methodology. <sighs> Yeah, don't worry about the Councillor Remus has got some questions. Yeah, I do, Mr Chair. Um, you want them now? You want these questions now? Okay. Um, page 28, and it mentions the public consultation process with, with regard to the dam. Um, do you want to say a little bit more at that point how that's going to, what the public can expect from that? Um, through you, Mr. Chairman. I mean, that's that's yet to Mr. be determined. Mr. Chair, I know it's a report. I don't need Mr. Councillor um, Scott just, just to tell me it's a report order, because please. I think we all know that. Order, please, Ms. Lemon. Um, so the question was around whether or not there should be more detail about what the public can expect. Yep. Um, I, don't, I think that's that's for the um, incoming council to actually decide what kind of information and advice they'll be seeking and then for the process will follow the special consultative procedure that's prescribed in the Local Government Act. So if, if that needs to be added in, that, that that's the process that will be followed, um, then fine, we can, we can add that bit in to give them some certainty around, around the process that will be adopted. I think that would be useful. Um, thank you, Mr Chair. On page 31, um, at the bottom it says, um, the Chief Executive has general issues meetings with the Chairman of Nikki to discuss topics of mutual interest when requested or appropriate. Um, uh, is it perhaps appropriate that those meetings be stepped up at this point? Oh, I can answer that. Um, well, we are liaising, but uh, I'm not sure what you mean by appropriate. Um, uh, Mr. Um, Timon is a very busy man. He's in America at the moment. He's quite often offshore. Very hard to uh, get alongside him. Yeah. Well, Mr. Chair, um, I was at a meeting recently when, uh, which which he convened, where there was a lot of um, concern expressed with about the relationship with, with regional. Well, to be to be um, blunt with you, Councillor, um, the relationship has been an ongoing relationship with um, all hapu and 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 related parties, um, Mr Timon has chosen to take a position and that's his right. Mr Chair, on page um, 95, regarding the open reporting of council committee items, um, I see that there have um, been 14 meetings out of the 47 which have a public excluded component um, and that would seem to be a very, very high amount, like um, really a th almost a third. Well, so you, you've been sitting through them all, Councillor. So I just... Uh, are, you, are you trying to make a point here or have you got a question? Yeah, I just I just wonder if that's something that, that Council needs to, to look at and it seems to be a very high ratio. Through you, Mr Chairman, I mean, that reports a number of meetings, so there may be one item on, on an agenda with 20 items on it, so um, it may be preferable to actually report it as a percentage of the items considered by Council, which you would find it would be um, probably less, it would be easily less than 5%. So we can change the reporting. In relation to this, um, does that figure also include the CD limits? So sometimes the councils or oh, oh, a meeting has had to go into public excluded just to receive public excluded minutes, is what you're saying? Yes, yeah, so that that's counted in that total. 
Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, there's a couple of um, items about Tutera, both on page 121 and, um, and 126. And um, so I was just, the one on 121, it talks about the value of um, Lake Tutera Country Park and Tangoya as being 808,000. And um, from memory, that's less than, than we paid for it, isn't it? Quite a bit less than we paid for it a few years ago. Has that land value gone down over that, over time? This is the. This is for the uh, Lake Tutera Country Park and Tongoyo Soil Conservation Reserve. Yeah. We never actually paid for the Tongoyo Soil Conservation Reserve. No, I'm Reserve. not talking about that. I'm talking about Tutera. Lake Tutera Country Park. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not aware of what. Yeah. Right. <coughs> so off the top of my head, I believe we paid about four hundred thousand for that. But I've yeah, I'm. I'm What's the relevance of I your question? Was, well, I thought it was a close to a million dollars that we that we paid. But, for but that. even so, councillor, what's the relevance of the question? I think well, you're I was thinking just asking of Waihapua, not Tutera Country Park. Yeah, you're thinking yeah. of Waihapua. I think you are thinking of Waihapua, not Tutera Country Park. Oh, Tutera okay. Country Park was purchased in the mid 1990s. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> And I think the valuation of Waihapua is, is um, anyway, I won't worry about that one. The, um, um, Mr Chair, there's just a comment about um, the sick leave and the leave from the staff, and the sick leave seems P to pages, be on, page, on page um, 147. The sick leave seems to have gone up by um, $25,000 and the annual leave seems to have has gone down. And I just wondered if, if those two things might be related at all. Um, I know we've made a conscious effort to get our annual leave down as a whole, um, so I think that reflects um, what we've done there. As far as sick leave goes, there's a bit a, uh, as far as a, having a provision on the balance sheet, it's a, quite a complex calculation of based on um, yeah, how much sick leave people have got and how long um, they've got to use it and things like that. So um, it can fluctuate a little bit, but I, I'd imagine that potentially people weren't, they were taking more holidays, they might take less sick leave. There could be that um, yeah. argument. How, how do you try and get the annual leave down? Um, as, as a management, we've um, got a figure, uh, which I think is 30 days that we need, well, try and require people to be under, um, just due to um, yeah, health and safety as well as anything else, um, getting stuff refreshed and things like that, so we try to keep it down. So there's a few people that have higher ones um, for a particular reason if they're going on leave or something like that in the future that they're saving up for. But yeah, we just try and, and keep that in check. Right. Mr Chair, on page um, 154, and this is the second to last one, there's severance pay, and there's one severance pay of $71,000. Is there an explanation for that, please? Well, it's um, a negotiated settlement under contract, um, and I didn't do the negotiation, but I'm certain that it's done uh, as per the contract, and um, that's what needed to be paid in order to. Um, I'm, I'm not privy to, to what's in there, but you're quite right, Councillor, may well have. So you no no idea what that what the reason for that is because that seems quite an extraordinary amount. I've not seen that before. Well, Council, the, yeah, I, I think uh, Council Rose is quite right. I mean, there's, there's, there's obviously um, a, um, a severance payment under contract, there's some annual leave and there'll be um, the retirement gratuity. 
um, but I don't know the exact components of all that. Okay. Um, and lastly, on ha page 152, uh, where it sets out the um, number of meetings and so on, does that include um, councillors who are involved in the biodiversity strategy working group in there? Yes, it does, councillor. Okay, thanks very much. Mr. Thank Chairman. You. Mr. Chairman, uh, the, uh, an attachment to the, the transport um, accounts and the um, deliverables, I've queried this in the past. Um, the accounting. Which page is that, councillor? All right. The accounting is on page 86. Now, it shows, it does not show the amount. Uh, of revenue from fares. Somehow or another they're netted, netted out in there and I don't think they should be. They should be there and transparent so that people can actually understand. I mean, the 700 odd thousand boardings um, and at an average of $1.50 each or it's probably more than that, you know, there's a million and a half. Well, where is that money? Um, I'm pretty sure it's because we pay GoBus directly, it gets it does get kind of netted off in that transaction, um, and that it comes through to us as, as an expense that we're paying GoBus as as far as. But we that. pay them a contract. They recover. They they receive the fees for us. Okay, they may not hand them over, mm. but surely by journal entry or yeah, we could whatever we could definitely make that happen. Okay. Um, because I think it's, it's just such a critical factor for public looking at that. Okay. You know, where, where is the revenue coming from? Where's mm. the money going? And as well, in the performance targets, there's nothing there that indicates uh, patronage and trends in patronage. So, is it too late to sort those couple of things out for this report? These um, performance targets are. Uh, translate or come directly across from the long-term plan which was adopted last year so um, we could add in some well, commentary on there even if there's not a we could tell the story if you like about the increased pa patronage. Even if there's a commentary in the in the um, in the front page yeah and showing say the movement in patronage over the last five years of the, of the current contract which is quite dramatic. 